It is time for our weekly Healthy Living segment. Dr. James Hawley of Southeast Texas Medical Associates joining us now. Dr. Hawley, today we're asking what are the Framingham risk calculators and why they are actually important. The, uh, you've heard terms like evidence-based medicine, random control studies, double-blind studies. These are the scientific research projects that bring to us information about the causes, mm -hmm. uh, the cures, the control, and the treatment of various diseases. The oldest our continuing study was started in 1949 in Framingham, Massachusetts, and it's called the Framingham Heart Study. Okay. It's gone on through three generations of providers and three generations of people, and out of it, we've learned the causes of heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, and other things related to the heart and arteries. So the risk calculators, is that part of that testing to exactly. figure out what, and what about help it, how does that help people in Southeast Texas? Well, the, uh, the Framingham uh, Heart Study has developed 12 risk calculators. And what they will do is they'll tell you what your risk of cardiovascular disease, cerebrovascular disease, stroke risk, and that sort of thing. And, the, uh, and they've published those. The American Academy of Family Practice Journal in August of 2010 recommended that a family physician calculate one risk calculator for their patients every five years. Oh. Because we do them electronically, we calculate all 12 of them every time we see a patient. Oh, wow. So that's how we do that in Southeast Texas. Exactly. So it's done individually in a sense. Exactly. And, and the reality is what patients really want to know, if I make a change, mm -hmm. will it make a difference? And unfortunately, the changes we're asking people to make will make a difference in 20 years or 30 years. We'd like to ask 30-year-olds to make changes now that they're going to benefit from when they're 60 or 70. That's a hard question. So if we can quantify mm -hmm. for them what their risk is, then they can know how important it is for them to control those risks. For instance, uh, one of the risk calculators, the 10-year cardiovascular risk, will tell you what your relative heart age is. Your heart age is 50 uh, by your age, but if your risk is high, your heart age may be 65 by your relative heart age. And then SETMA has added to the, t uh, the 12 calculators a what-if scenario. Okay. What if you make this change? Mm -hmm. How will it affect you? And then we display that. And you, if you control your blood pressure, control your blood sugar, control your, your cholesterol, it may change your 65 relative heart age down to 52 or 53 or back to 50, which is your actual heart age. And as a result, we can tell you, if you make this change, it will make a difference. And that's a bargain we can make with our patients so we can prove it. We print that off, give it to the patient, so they can go home and study it and realize that they, they can make a difference in their future. Breaking it down practically for each patient. Precisely. So that people have, last week we talked about the baton. Mm -hmm. That's part of the baton. That's part of the engagement of the patient to inform them and educate them so they can take charge and responsibility for their health 8,760 hours a year. Great responsibility for your own health. Absolutely. Only you can do it, right? Absolutely. Essentially. Only the individual can do it because ultimately we want to be your collaborator, mm -hmm. your consultant, not your con constable. We want to help them. Help yes. move them in the right direction. Exactly. Great. We appreciate Thank that, you. Dr. Holly, as always. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. You're welcome.